We're keeping you busy, aren't we? <laughs> a little bit. No. A little bit. Yeah. Not tonight. Oh, really <laughs> Call the meeting to order. This is a special meeting tonight. Everybody, I think on the back side there's agendas if anybody would like to see them or not. Um, I want to call on um, the head of the search committee to make a statement tonight. Jocelyn. Thanks, Henry. Um, we're here tonight to talk about the next step in, steps in the superintendent search process. We as board members have received many questions regarding the recent lawsuit brought by David Taylor and its impact on the search process. So tonight we've invited our legal counsel, Dennis Ducharme, to make a statement regarding this. Mr. Ducharme? Uh, as most people, I think, probably know, um, there is a hearing scheduled for this week. Uh, it, it Speak into the microphone, please. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, the hearing had been scheduled for this Friday. Uh, it's being moved to Thursday afternoon uh, due to some scheduling issues with the court. Um, the board members have conveyed to me that they've had a, a number of citizens approach them with questions um, expressing concern about the potential impact of the, of the suit on the search process, and, and the board has shared those concerns with me. Time is of the essence uh, in this search process, and as a result of that, uh, I have asked the court to issue an expedited ruling um, after the hearing on Thursday. Um, Mr. Taylor and I have spoken, and he has not yet let me know if he does or doesn't object to my request for an expedited ruling. Um, but I have emphasized to the court in a written motion and will re-emphasize on Thursday the good, bad, or indifferent, um, the district needs a prompt ruling from the court so that the board has guidance as to what to do next. Um, the court has issued an interim order uh, after the petition for injunctive relief was filed. And in that interim order, um, the court expressed its preliminary belief um, that the board um, 
had settled on a selection process uh, for the selection of the two non-parent, if I use the term, non-parent public members of the committee. Um, the court expressed a concern um, that that had been done um, essentially secretly and behind closed doors. And the court's misunderstanding of that is frankly not surprising, um, given that the petition that was filed skipped over the meeting of December 5th, 2011, um, when the process was in fact discussed. Um, the process was modified slightly um, per a memo that came from the superintendent, uh, and the uh, process was completed on December 21st. Um, frankly, at this stage, it's impossible to say what impact this case may have on the search process. Um, we need to wait for a ruling and respond accordingly to whatever the judge decides, um, potentially with the help from Mr. Uh, De Benedictus and the people at NESDEC. Um, my advice to the board as, as their lawyer, having concerns about the fact that they're proceeding with a, a process while the case is pending, is to go ahead and complete the process. The judge did order in the preliminary order that they could move forward with the search. I have advised them um, that they should move forward with the process, uh, select a superintendent, uh, and begin negotiations. I have also advised them um, that they need to advise any candidate that they choose that those negotiations need to be done with a contingency in place, specifically that they cannot finalize and sign a contract until we hear uh, what the judge has to say. So, that's it. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, Mr. Fisher. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Now, uh, are there any changes or uh, additions, deletions of the agenda for tonight? I'd like to make one suggestion. We got one you public. Know, sorry, Please. It's very, very difficult to change um, I'll do my best. Um, I've asked, uh, there's one board member that approached me before coming into the meeting that would like to talk, only the one member of the public. So um, I Wait, guess I what? need, there's one member of the public that would like to speak. And I'm suggesting that we change the agenda to allow that one member of the public to speak. Yes. Point of order. We can't change a, an agenda for a special meeting. We need to follow this set agenda. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Can I take a brief pause to go out and personally move those chairs forward to enable everybody to hear? <laughs> no, I'd be happy can to do move that. Their own chairs. Can that point be done? No. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> okay. So, point of order coming in. So, we cannot have anybody to change the agenda. Okay. I, I guess that's the ruling. Sorry. Okay, going on, we have a discussion about the uh, superintendent search. Um, Ken, do you want to start off and talk about things? Be happy to. Following the uh, meeting last week where the board decided not to pr proceed because they needed some additional information, I needed to report to the three finalists uh, the status. Uh, I owed it to them and uh, I shared with them that uh, the board would be meeting this week and the board will be deciding what those next steps could include. Uh, I advised them that the steps as I saw it at that point without any real information from the board was that they could decide to terminate the search completely, that's a choice. They could decide to select a superintendent, that's a choice. They could decide to visit candidates and then subsequent to that make a decision about what the next steps could include. So I said knowing what I know, which was very little, I need to check with you on number one, your continued interest, and number two, your availability if a decision is made to do a visit. So uh, what they indicated to me is this, number one, all three are still very interested in Oyster River. They think that Oyster River is a really fine community with a great legacy of a, an outstanding school district. They see some wonderful opportunities to continue the, the great work that's in place. They look forward to ongoing development of relations with UNH and most importantly ongoing development and expansion of opportunities for community inclusion 
and everything that's done. So, saying that, they also indicated to me that there are some complications with uh, if a visit is planned. Uh, in one particular instance, uh, the candidate is going to be out of the country for the first two weeks in February. So, I guess you still could visit, but he will not be available. Uh, in another, and I, I suppose I should name names, uh, Mr. Bacon is going to be on vacation for two weeks. Uh, Mr. McIntyre is uh, interested and he's available. Uh, Dr. Morse uh, has some complications in uh, schedule this week. Uh, he is available on uh, some days. Uh, and he has some complications next week, but he is available on some days and I can go into detail on what those available days are. Um, so again, all three are interested. Um, I've done uh, enormous vetting uh, of the candidates, as have other board members. Uh, and um, we have three very fine candidates who are being moved forward, or who were moved forward. And now it's the board's choice as to what it needs to do. I, I need to also say this that um, the candidate pool was small to begin with. That's not unusual because that is the nature of uh, superintendent positions today. Uh, we were fortunate in that we had some really qualified people who applied. So we're very fortunate as far as that is concerned. But the pool nonetheless is small and there are a number of searches that are ongoing everywhere not just Oyster River. There are a number of searches going on in New Hampshire, a number of searches going on in Massachusetts, a number of searches <laughs> going on in New England. Uh, so what's happening is this. Uh, lots of districts are looking at similar candidates. And I must say this, that your three candidates are being eagerly and enthusiastically looked at and pursued by other districts. Now, I'm not about to tell the board that they need to move fast, because we've not moved fast. This search began in September. September was the first day we met, September 19th. Usually a search is done in three and a half months. We're starting our fifth month of a search. This is late. This is late. You push it off anymore, and I can't guarantee that any of the candidates will remain. Uh, as I indicated, they are being eagerly pursued because they are highly qualified and there are lots of districts who are looking at them. Um, so, again, the intent is not to push you or pressure you because we've not done any of that at all. We've taken our time, we've followed a very responsible and rational schedule, and we're at a point now where it's time to close it. If you believe that you found the candidate that you want, it's time for you to make a decision. Candidates were announced January 19th. This is uh, the 31st, 12 days after the announcement. You're not going to hold on to these candidates by delaying it too much longer into the future. So if you're comfortable with what you have, it's time to make a decision. Five months is too long to do a search. Yes. Um, thank you very much. Uh, I, I just want to spend a few minutes before we start talking about what to do next, just thanking um, the screening committee members who worked so hard during this process, um, all of the people who helped out with our site visits, you know, that was on very little notice and a lot of people chipped in um, and really made that a success, I think, and also the um, focus groups. We had some screening committee uh, members who helped out and I really appreciate that. I think everything went very well and, and I appreciate everyone's time. Thank you. Yes. Okay, so I just need to ask a question, a process question about this discussion um, and what, it ca what we can and cannot talk about as to what we talked about last week. Um, <clears throat> so we can talk about the candidates in this forum as to why we you know, think that they should move forward or not move forward. Is that correct? Okay. Absolutely. You mm -hmm. could you could make a motion to move a candidate forward for whatever next steps you think would be appropriate. Okay. 
The board would then have a conversation. It would then be seconded. Excuse me. It would be seconded. The board would have a con conversation, and a vote would be taken. Okay. So then can I say something? Yes. Okay. So um, I thought a lot about the information. We had a lot of information last week in the non-public session. We went through all of the resume, or we went through all of the um, interview data, we went through all of the references, we went through all of the feedback forms from the community forums, everything on all three candidates. And clearly, to me, there was one candidate from the community forum that the community clearly preferred. In my opinion, I thought that most of the feedback came positively for one candidate maybe one and a half candidates. Um, and if we're going to move forward um, with a site visit or election or whatever, um, I could support one of those two candidates. Um, and I see them being Dr. Morse and Dr. Bacon. Um, my original opinion of the candidates after the interview wasn't necessarily those two people. Um, but I could support moving forward with investigation as to one or two of those candidates because I clearly feel that the community felt that those were the two best candidates. Um, the reference checks supported those two candidates. Um, I prefer one over the other, but that's remained to be seen. But Yes. I have, I'd like to ask a question to Ken. Um, um, if we were to try to do site visits on these candidates within the next, let's say, five to seven days. Do you see that as being a huge detriment to our securing? I mean, is it really going to set us back if we tried to get site visits scheduled? Even, I mean, it, I don't know how quickly we could do it. Could we do it this week? Are there potentials for this week? Or? One candidate is being eagerly pursued. Uh, okay. And, and uh, what he indicated to me was that, again, not knowing where the board was on mm -hmm. it, he wants to come here. This is Dr. Okay. Morse. Dr. Morse, okay. Um, and uh, he's got some complications, as I indicated at the beginning of the, of the yeah. statement. He has some complications, but he does have some time available. Uh, he's got two days. Tomorrow is impossible. He's, he's open Friday, and he's open next week. Wednesday. Uh, Dr. Bacon is not available next week. Dr. McIntyre, uh, Mr. McIntyre is available. Yes. Um, well, I'd like to make a motion for the West River School District to do a site visit to Dr. Um, James Morris's school district in Portland, Maine, as soon as possible. I second it. Any further discussion? Yes. Um, I, I would support that in, in my view, um, also looking through um, or hearing about all the reference checks that were completed by board members and also by Dr. De Benedictus, uh, the community feedback and also the other feedback we mm -hmm. received from um, members of the staff and students in the schools. And based on our own interviews, I uh, see that Dr. Morse has, in my view, the, the most experience and would be the best able to lead our district in this difficult time. I also um, noticed that there is a, a, for, there's a lot of enthusiasm and, and passion for him as a candidate and as a person. And for me, that came through very clearly in the feedback we received, although I think all three candidates are amazing. That enthusiasm and passion, you know, I, I, I heard from him as a candidate, but I also heard from people reacting to him. And I think that's really exciting. And, and I would not want to lose this candidate um, by delaying. But, you know, we have heard calls from uh, many, you know, members of the community regarding a site visit. I think that's reasonable. I don't think we all have to go, but I, I think that that would be reasonable um, due diligence. And I, I'd like to move forward as soon as possible to do that. Yes. I'd just like to comment on Dr. Morse. Um, everything that Jocelyn and Krista said is so true. There was so much positive feedback from many different sources, from the public forums, from um, reference calls, um, credentials in general. Um, I, was, I was fortunate enough to spend an af the afternoon with Dr. Morse, and I thought he exhibited extraordinary communication skills. He also exhibited um, leadership traits that I think would really benefit Oyster River. I think, um, you know, he, he could be a real asset. I think he could 
help us find common ground and move our district towards the future and and take us to that you know from great to, to who knows what the potential is is there and um, I was very excited and very hopeful that um, we could further the process with him yes um, I participated in the screening committee where I had the opportunity of meeting all three candidates um, I did not participate in the second interview uh, based on a family emergency so I was not here to um, see the gentleman up close and personal, but I too drove Dr. Morse around in the morning and had a few minutes a little later in the day with Dr. Bacon. Um, the community members that I came in contact with over the last few days um, just couldn't say enough things about Dr. Morse. I, I didn't prompt them, they, the comments just came, came forward. What I found most compelling about him was um, right off the bat he asked me how I was. Um, I think he's a man that has capacity for great empathy, and I think our district could use somebody who has capacity for great empathy right now. Um, again, I, I wasn't here for the interview, so I can't speak to that part, um, but I was. I did interview them initially, and uh, all, all three of the candidates had, had strong qualities, but um, I think the experiences Dr. Morris has had, um, he has worked in districts from large to small. Um, there was an Air Force base that was closed up in Maine s shortly after he took um, over as the superintendent and they lost two-thirds of their students and he was able to turn that district around and keep that school alive and serve the children of, of that community. Um, he went from doing that to working in a district for 12 years that was very similar to our district and then from there he went to Portland where he was faced with um, a lot of issues in how the, I guess, in, in <coughs> structural issues in how that district was run, and um, he stepped up and, and, and brought that district back to a place that I think people there are excited about their future again. Um, I think every, every, every candidate's a gamble. Um, I feel less inclined to think that Dr. Morse is a gamble. Thank you. Yes, Jim. It's an old saying that you ought to be careful what you wish for. And I was hoping that we'd have a few good candidates, and I was absolutely amazed that the, through the, the work of uh, Ken and Nesdek, as well as the screening committee, you've had some quality people come up here, people that I'm not used to seeing in this district with the exception of um, our good friend and, and, and interim superintendent, Lee Levesque. Um, and it was a very difficult choice. But I, uh, after reviewing all things, listen, looking at my emails and listening to people in the community, I'm extremely happy with uh, our ability to even talk to Dr. Morris, and I certainly hope we can act expeditiously to hire him. Thank you. Uh, anybody want to propose about what the action should be? I just made There's a motion. There's a motion. There's a motion. There's a second. Okay. Um, any further discussion? Could you read the motion again, please? Yes, please. Megan Turnbull moved that the Oyster River School Board perform a site visit to Dr. Morris's school district as soon as possible at Portland, Maine, second by Henry Brackett. Uh, any further discussion? Yes. I have to amend the motion. Sure. Um, I think I said not the school board, the school district. Or shall do the site visit. The school district? Yeah. Okay. I second the change. No further discussion? All those in favor of the motions? Raise hand. Aye. It's unanimous. Okay. So uh, we can work with Ken and uh, set up a site visit. With, uh, we should have a conversation about that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes. Just, just, yes when you say unanimous, should we point out that it's 6-0? Six 6-0. Zero? Six yeah. zero. Okay, yeah. that's all. So how are we going to go about this site visit? Who's going to go on it? Okay. What do you recommend? Uh, what I recommend that you do is to form a, a group of people. I would not make it large because you don't want a large number of people, dozens of people in, uh, descending on the community. I would suggest you have two or three board members and uh, I would also suggest that the, uh, really good sources of information and support would be to have a couple of, uh, a couple of your school administrators and I think that would be fine. You'd have a, a group then of four or five people, and I think four or five people is all you need. Uh, I, I've, I've had searches where when we've done visits, 
the four or five has been the number that have gone. I've had them as small as one, <laughs> but never, never <laughs> large because then it's just too big. Mm -hmm. Yes, Jocelyn. Um, I, I think that that's probably that's uh, something to keep in mind. We should keep it small so that we're able to, you know, fl schedule it most, you know, in a flexible manner. Because it sounds like we're on a short time frame, and I think if you try to make it too big, it's going to be hard to coordinate schedules. Yep. You know, I'm not even sure we need more than one board member because, you know, we have had a lot of information about references. As long as I think one person of the board has the time, and and you know, I, I can't speak for everyone else, but this is. A really busy season now with deliberative coming up. I'm not sure I could commit to that, but I think as long as we have one board member and a couple of staff members, that that would be enough. But I think if we try to make it so we can, two people could go, it's going to get difficult. And we also have to be in court on Thursday, and you know I think we're yes, pretty Megan. busy. Can you tell us? So it, what day? What days are available yeah, for Dr. Morris? Again, can you be more specific about his availability? I, I indicated it's that Friday. the days where he could do it this week would be tomorrow. Tomorrow? That doesn't no. give you enough time. We, no. So no. the other day would be Friday. Okay. Because he's tied up in Boston on Thursday. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's available next week, but it's not early in the week. It's, it's Wednesday is the earliest he can do it. Okay. So I would encourage you to do it Friday. I would encourage you to move as expeditiously as you can without rushing into it, yeah. but do it in an organized, expeditious way mm -hmm. so that you can gather whatever data you need to get beyond what you have, and you have a ton of data now. Yes. I mean, I think, well, I don't know everyone's schedules, but I, I do feel that somebody who hasn't, I mean, I got to spend a fair amount of time with Dr. Moore, so I don't feel like I need to go personally. Um, but I don't know how everyone else feels. Would it be advisable to have anybody from the screening committee go? Yes, Justin. That might be an easy way to find um, staff members who are willing to go. And I know at least one member of the screening committee who was in favor of a site visit. I, you know, is a, you know would be probably very willing to go. Yeah. So that might be an easy way to get staff. Um, but you know, like. Megan, I well, unlike Megan, but I was on the screening committee. I don't feel like I have to go on this as long as we have a good format for the sharing the data, which I guess is my next question. So we send a few people, and then what happens? How do we get access to the Then I think what you need to do is to have a meeting uh -huh. and uh, to discuss the observations that were made okay. in the visit. Uh, and then uh, you should do that as soon after the visit as possible. Okay. Again, not to delay, because okay. to delay doesn't really make too much sense. Uh, so if you were to do a visit on Friday, then you should have a meeting early next week. Uh, bring the people who've made the visit to the board. Mm -hmm. uh, have a non-public conversation about it because you're going to be discussing very confidential information okay. that uh, should not be. It's protected under under uh, the uh, uh, RSAs. And, uh, and then once you've had that conversation, to go public mm -hmm. and then have a decision. And the decision needs to be made in public. Yes. So that um, non-public meeting to discuss it, that would be with the whole board and then whoever went. Yes. So, okay, so that's how we would. Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. Yep. Okay. Yes. So can we find out who could do it Friday, who wants to go or who hey, thinks it Friday. would be valuable? Wait, can I ask a question? Oh. Excuse me? Can I ask a question? Yes. Can we pull it together that quickly? I, I, absolutely. I mean, uh, I, I, I told you the schedules of the candidates. Uh -huh. uh, Dr. Morse is available on Friday. He's available on Wednesday okay. because of his schedule. Um, you need one or two members of the board. And uh, I would think that uh, 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 Leon would be able to free up a couple of administrators take the visit, okay. to do the visit, and that would be it. Staff. Okay. Yes. That make, that I would sense. recommend staff as well, teachers. Okay. Yeah, sure. And then um, one other question. So who would determine, you know, because we're looking at Portland, how do you figure out where to go? Who may, you know, I can who, help you with that. Okay, so you could help. I know the, where to go. Okay, who to visit. Okay. Do you know how to then, get to Trader what, Joe's? What you would I mean, I know how to, you know what I mean? Which schools do you visit? How do you well, even begin? We're going to bike trip. I'm going to bike trip. Leon, okay, so Leon could, could, could help you. That's well, one possibility. The other possibility is for you to tell Leon and I, what would you like to do when you visit? Where would you like to go? Okay. And we would try to accommodate that interest. 
I would assume that what you would want to do is you'd want to visit the schools, okay. obviously. And you would want to visit people who are in authority positions, such as uh, school board members mm -hmm. uh, in Portland. Uh, you would probably want to visit people who are in executive positions in the city itself, such as uh, uh, the uh, assistant, uh, uh, I think there's a mayor in the city. Mm -hmm. uh, so you'd want to visit the mayor or the assistant mayor. Uh, you may want to visit some department chairs, some police chief, fire chief, okay. Indian chief, uh, whomever you wish. Um, but uh, I, I, would, I would suggest that you probably want to spend, uh, you probably want to get there around 9 o'clock and spend until 2 o'clock or so mm -hmm. doing that, visiting these various people, and again with Leon's help and, uh, and uh, Dr. Morse's help. I'm sure it'll be very easy to put together a schedule. It's not, yep. not complicated. Uh, usually what they do is they find a location at the central office where people can what we brought in, and whomever you wish to speak to, if we know in advance, we'll let Dr. Morse know that. He'll bring these people in. Mm -hmm. If you want to spend some time traveling around the city to get a sense of the city, to sense the, visit some schools, you're more than welcome to do that. Uh, usually uh, candidates who are having a visit uh, are very welcoming and uh, will warmly welcome you to visit anywhere you wish to visit. Okay, should we kind of specify the list and then let yes. Dr. Morse set it up? Absolutely. And then... Yeah, I, I guess the process would be if you would meet with me, I could help you put up a list <coughs> and then we communicate that to Dr. Morse and he makes those arrangements. Okay. Yeah. So who would... Who would I mean, we, we have a list here that we've started. Is that enough? No, I think what we'd have to do is you and I would have to meet and okay. make a more of a formal list and dis do discussions. I know the schools. I know the okay. some of the people in the, in the city offices and things of that nature. We could identify people. When the board, when the board would have time on Friday to go up there. Yes. What was the question? You want somebody to look at people on the board? I yeah, people on the board. Who would like to go up? Yeah. I'll be the default person. Okay. Nobody default else wants to go up. <laughs> well, default, like default person. Excellent. Yes. I'm willing to go, but I thought since I had spent uh, probably the most time of all board members, I wanted to defer the opportunity to other board members. I thought it would be kind of give everyone a chance to. So I mean. I think two would be great. Mm -hmm. Well, do. I don't know if we're um, going to need two. Yes. I don't um, think we can. Yeah, I, I think at this short notice, I mean, I think this is probably going to be okay. I think the important thing is we get some staff members, sure. and I would be willing okay. to check in with the people I've already worked with on the screening committee and see, since some of them have asked for this, see if any staff members or, you know, there's an administrator willing to do that. I could do that, and then... You know, but we still have to decide how many people. So what, like three? We can, do, we can decide that. Okay. So I, I mean, if if the board's comfortable with that, yeah. I I can work with Lee. I have this list. I'm not going, but I have okay. the list, and I can give it to you, and we can ask the screening committee. And I guess in the event that we don't have staff from there, Lee, could you give us a name, or you know, I mean. You definitely okay. need a school administrator or two. There's no question. Okay. You need that. And you need you need a staff member or two. And if you want to choose the screening committee representatives, that would be perfect. Okay, so, um, yes. While I would like to go, I too spent time with Dr. Morse, and my father's health is not good right now, so I can't leave for the day. No. Yes. I, I definitely, I will be happy to go. I will commit to go. And anybody else who wants to come along is more than welcome. I can't go. Um, anyway. Okay. Yes. I'm taking time. But not a copy here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No. I think we'd limit to one. Wouldn't I'll go by myself. Yeah. Right. I'll, you I'll go knows. with a staff member. You won't be alone. You're, you won't yeah, be alone. you're going to be with others. Yeah. You're the okay. Not bring a camera. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is probably a silly question. You don't you go, right? You're just going no. to give us. Okay. <laughs> no. So. I will not go. Okay. So you'll just set it up. Okay. I will just. What I will do. You've made, a, you've made a, a decision to visit Dr. Morse. 
I indicated to the three candidates that I would call them tonight once the board decided what they wanted to do. So I will call Dr. Morse and let him know that um, he's going to be visited uh, on Friday and that uh, Leon will meet with Leon's going to meet with Jocelyn and they'll put together a schedule and that Leon will contact Dr. Morse and uh, uh, tell them who the representatives are and indicate uh, where they'd like to visit and who they'd like to talk to and set the schedule in motion. I just, I just want to clarify how, and then Lee's going to help select the administrators or, or get administrators. How's that going to work? Are you well, if the board's comfortable, I can go back to the committee because, as okay. I said before, some of them mentioned site okay. visits and, and see of the staff because there's a couple teachers. Let's see, there's three teachers and an administrator. And I know, I know for sure one has been very excited at the prospect of this. I think what the issue is, if people are comfortable, Jocelyn and I will set up the group Definitely. and we'll c consult with some of the screening committee members and, and so the, their, their task is to do information gathering and mm -hmm. report back to the board. Right. Mm -hmm. The other thing I would suggest you do is to set a meeting tonight for when you will review the data that will be collected to get that organized and posted with an agenda. Well, we have a deliberative on when, on Tuesday. Say that again, sorry. We have deliberative on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it can't be that day. So Monday? Mm. Wouldn't Monday work? work? It's going to have to be Monday. Does Monday work for everybody? I think the advantage is the information will be, you know, I know, will be fresh in people's minds. Mm -hmm. I think the sooner we do it, the more we Absolutely. get people's instincts. Okay. And yep. I can do Monday. You can do Monday? What time? <coughs> Monday at 7? Do we? Um, okay. Yeah, okay. that's fine. I mean, we should probably make sure that that time is good for the people who are going on the site visit because they're going to need to be there to update us. But <laughs> okay, Leon will do that. Okay. okay. Yes. Non-public. Can I? Is that a public? Yeah. Uh, no, it would be non-public, right? Non public. Right. Yes, but because it's confidential it. information that you'll be sharing, and you really can't share that in public because of reputation under under the RSAs. Uh, but uh, any decisions you make, obviously, will have to be made in public, and you'll have to. So, ex so shall it? we post both a public and a non-public yes, meeting? Yes, I right? think you should. It, uh, just yes. a question um, to Leon: mm -hmm. If if we were to schedule this during the daytime, would that be better for administration and teachers? The visit. No, our no, discussion on Monday. Oh, I don't think so. Oh, okay. Because that was something we we found with the screening committee is that folks like to meet at four o'clock, three thirty, four o'clock for because of mm -hmm. they're done with their school day and they're on site and they don't have to come back. And I, I think that we're asking a lot of their time that we should be thoughtful about that. Four is fine. Whatever the board wants. Wanna... Well, do you think it'd be more? I think it would probably be convenient for some of the staff. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So. What time? Four? Is that working? Yeah. No, it doesn't work. No, it's but it's all right. It's I'll make the, it work. It's not good for the board. So, I'll so, make it work. I mean, traditionally, our meetings have been at 7, so maybe the best thing to do is just to stick to that tradition and and uh, go with that. Yeah. So 7 o'clock on Monday, we'll schedule so, a meeting. Yep. Yeah. Sorry. I have a question. It's all right. I can make it work. I mean, it's an. I get out of work at 5 mm -hmm. on Monday, so I could probably make an hour work. That would have to be Yes. So I just want to ask a question. If we hear the report from the site committee and and the site, the group, the visiting group, the information group, the site, so the site committee. Committee. yeah, I don't know. okay, the group, the, that the will group be that's going onto the site, right. it's not a committee, right? It's not. Sorry, misspoke. Um, will we? Will the board be able to go back and discuss or and, and make a decision or or how do how do we finally get to elect the superintendent? When does that happen? <coughs> The board will meet on Monday evening. <coughs> My recommendation would be that you would meet on Monday uh -huh. to review the visit and then to discuss uh, the data that you've gathered uh -huh. and then to come out and make a decision. Okay, so we need to make sure that is stated as such in our sure. agenda. Right. So uh, essentially, I think what Ken is referring to is that it seems as if you've already you've come to a point where you have a favorite candidate. And now you're going to confirm what 
impressions and knowledge that you have right now by with a with a site visit. Mm -hmm. Right. And if that concurs, then you you're you're ready to make a decision. I think so. Yes. Um, so as I stated before, there clearly was a candidate that came from the the surveys that we got from the teachers, the community, and the students. That's all of them, right? Um, that came forward, and Dr. Morse was that candidate. But is there anybody else from the board who wishes to entertain another candidate? Because we discussed three candidates, right? Yes, Jim. One thing, one point is that I don't think we can equate the time put into a project with the effort that's put into a project. For some people, this may seem a truncated procedure. However, uh, they're obviously not aware of the amount of work that certain people on this board have been doing, um, making the phone calls, checking out the, uh, the resumes, and, and looking at the candidates carefully. So I think this is the final piece of the puzzle. We go up there, we look at it, if we find anything out that's really absurdly uh, um, would change our minds completely. Well, then that has to be reported. But um, this is procedural, and um, as I say, I'll be happy to do it, and I think we should move ahead with this because the effort has been expended. Thanks to you, thanks to a couple of board members, and thanks to Lee. Yes. Um, Chris, I think that's a valid question, but I think at this point, based on everything I've heard and seen, we move forward, and then, you know, based on the discussion on Monday night, that could come up. But I think at this point, based on the data, we're being pointed in this direction. We just continue, and then once we have more data, more information, more due diligence, then I think an answer will emerge as to the next steps. Okay. I, I, think that I don't disagree. Right. Okay. I mean, I support okay. that decision, right. but I just want to make sure I ask the question because I don't. Any further discussion about the process? Okay. So we've covered the next step. Um, motion to adjourn? Yeah, motion to adjourn. I make a motion to adjourn. I second. Okay, all those in favor? Meeting is adjourned. Thank you so much.